Hi everyone. So, the other video works. So I'm hoping this one's going to. I'm going to try and film it in two parts so that they're shorter to upload onto Seesaw. So, we are reading. There's a Yeti in the playground. And we've just got to the part where all the children are stranded in the school because of a big snowstorm outside. And they've eaten from the giant tin of beans. And now they're trying to figure out what's going on. And they think the teachers aren't telling them something. So they've hatched a plan to go and spy on the teachers. So let's find out what happens next. This chapter is called Spy Mission. Maisie didn't like that plan at all. And she even took out her calculator and told us that the risk of getting caught was 99.999999%. And then she held up the calculator so we could all see. But Jody said that doing nothing wasn't an option and that in the wild you have to do or die. And no one wanted to die, so everyone agreed to do the plan. We all stood outside the staff room door and listened. Usually, when we spy, listen on the teachers, we hear loads of talking and laughing. And one time we even heard a scream. But this time all we could hear was the TV. That's when Zach said, I don't think there's anyone in there. But then we heard the sound of the kettle boiling, so we knew there was at least one teacher in there. Maisie started shaking a bit and saying that it was going to be impossible to do the plan. But then Jody said that if we'd managed to hide in the school office, under the office ladies' desks, when we thought that there were baby aliens in our school, then we could definitely sneak into the staff room and hide behind the sofa. Jody said that we needed to create a diversion, which meant that we needed to do something to distract the teachers so they didn't notice us. And that's when I came up with a brilliant idea. And I know everyone else thought it was a brilliant idea too, because I could see it in their eyes. I said that we should knock on the door and say that the scary deputy head teacher had asked to see them in her office and that they would all rush out straight away because they're even more scared of Mrs. Seath than the pupils are. Then we could sneak in and wait for them all to come back. So Jodie looked at Zach because she thought that he should be the one to knock on the door because she obviously didn't want to do it. And he just sighed and said, Fine, because he's used to us making him do stuff like that. So me and Jodie and Maisie all hid behind the big pot plant and held our breath as Zach knocked loudly three times. <coughs> Jodie looked mega annoyed and she hissed, Why did you knock so loudly? That's not what we discussed. But Zach just ignored her because he was in the middle of the plan. And also because Jodie always likes to tell you how to do things, especially the things she doesn't want to do herself. We all stared at the door handle and waited, it, waited for it to move. But it didn't. Zach turned and looked at us and Jodie whispered, Try it again. So he did. And he did it even louder this time. But no one came. So Zach came running back over to us and said, we need a new plan. But then Jodie got that look and we all knew she'd already come up with a new plan all by herself and that she was going to make us do it. She stood up and dusted off her knees and said, we're going in. Wait for the next part.